Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Phantom Investigation Reimagined. And in tonight's episode, I got a... Uh, uh, a I got a person or whatever that asked me about this game, and I wanted to kind of go over it uh, for him so he could kind of... Because he asked me, is it kind of like Phasmophobia? So I'll give you the rundown. Uh, so... So this is the new thing. This is your flashlight. The flashlight will will allow players to see in the dark. The camera, the deployable camera, can be placed anywhere, and it can be accessed from the tool tables. The EMF sensor will will analyze its surroundings in search for any frequent shifts. Ghosts. Ghosts may cause this device to go off, producing a loud and clear beeping sound. And this thing is literally so loud you can hear it in the next room. So this, so, okay, so this radio, will, will, this radio-like device will, will run through uh, frequencies until something is picked up. Many say they hear voices from the dead coming, coming from it. Okay, so this is what I always use in the in my videos. So the night vision goggles will basically allow the player to see in basically the dark without using a flashlight, making it easier to spot ghost orbs. And the temperature, the thermometer, which is your temperature, will will basically allow you to find and basically identify the cold spots, which are freezing temperatures of cold spots pr produced by ghosts or spirits. So for here, this is your evidence. Um, so this is so ghost spot, cold spots. Some ghosts are basically are are capable of temporarily altering the temperature of spaces. If basically the temperature drops low, a ghostly presence is close. Ghost orbs. Uh, some spirits might show themselves as bright dust-like orbs. No. Uh, keep your eyes out for them, and this is what they'll look like. Okay, so the EMF sensor. Uh, when spirits use enough of their power, they will trigger the EMF sound, or they will trigger the EMF, causing it to emit a loud beeping sound, like this. Now I have entities. Some spirits are evil if, you, if you're pushed or taken an item from your inventory, you're most likely going to be dealing with an entity or demon. Spirit box. So this happens when a ghost is able to communicate through the spirit box. So like this. So ghost writing, which is really cool. Some spirits will sometimes use their powers to write messages on walls. Rare, but easy to spot. Well, it's supposed to be there. Some for some reason it's glitched. So these are our ghosts that you could be going up against. You have poltergeists, wailing souls, demons, pupios, duppies, batellas, shies, spirits, bastis, jalens, dipics, mirai, shades, and jumbies. The demonic entities are a demon, pupia, a duppy, a basti. A Dibic, Mirai, Shade, and Jumbies. Those are the demons. Your spirits are your spirit, poltergeist, wailing soul, shy, and Jalen and Batellas. These are your maps you can go to, the general store, the forest, the apartment 4A, and the street house. So the first place we're gonna do for the tutorial is the apartment complex. 
There we go. And then, welcome to Phantom Investigation. Are you ready for tonight? But first, so this is what you are required. So this is what it is. So welcome, welcome to Phantom Investigation, a realistic approach at ghost hunting in Fortnite, now made in UEFN. Join up to three players in this interactive air in this intricate game. Use your equipment and investigate the house. You have one singular objective: identify the spirit or entity, which are these kinds of places. Then you have here your uh, you can select first person. You can use Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can use cinematic mode and the camera shakes. Let's get into it. Into it. So you, you can kind of get a feeling on what it is, what it's like. Okay, so we're at our first destination, apartment 4A. Alright, so this is your, your activity graph. So every 20 seconds it'll show, so like the digital lines that are go, uh, that are like slants, like points, those are your activity. So we also have a grid that we can pick up. We have the key to unlock the door, the um, night vision. So right here, you can check your health. Like, so it'll tell you if you're full health or low health. These are what you, you, you use to heal up and stuff, like your health, your health bar. So we have this, we're gonna bring this. And then since I don't have a secondary player, we're gonna, we, we gotta come out and get more of those get the rest, but that's fine. All right, here we go. Place that down. Let's go get the spirit box real quick. Here's something else cool. You can go, where are you? You can basically talk into the spirit box or you can press the other button and it gives you things that you can say, like do something. Oh. Oh, gee. Oh, God. That was our ghost. Fuck, we didn't even get our evidence. That, that, and I believe that's what it was. So we are dealing with a... None of the... A wailing soul. Gotta mention if we're right. Please be right, please be right, please be right. Oh my god, let's see the time. What? Let's go! One minute and 28 seconds. And that's how you do it. Look at that. One minute and 28 flipping seconds. That is going to be a bit, that's quicker than probably what I've ever saw the ghost hunt. The ghost, basically, basically the game, uh, the ghost literally gave us all three of the pieces of evidence that we needed. It gave us the spirit box, uh, the EMF, and the freaking um, ghost orbs all at the exact same time. And we got it down in one minute and 28 seconds. Oh, that's going to be a freaking photo finish right there. Yeah, that deserves a fucking photo right there. Oh, here's some other crazy things I've, ca I've captured. Let me show you here real quick. These two photos were taken, like, when I was in a public lobby. Right here. This was one of, one of the nights I was playing. 
And then here's something else that's crazy that I noticed. It wrote the word help, but it was on the flipping ceiling. Can you believe that? I, that was literally the first time I've ever seen that before. Yeah, that's a, that's the fastest in time. That just blew my fucking mind. I'm like probably one of the best fucking ghost hunters ever. Well, I guess uh, that's that's how you play it. Uh, let me know, uh, bluebones underscore yt, what you think of it. If it's something you're, you if you ever want to play, I'm always open to play with you. Um, but yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching.